wasn't really expecting to make a video today, but as I was editing Staggered, I got this in the mail and I'm super excited about this. So this is an HKS front pipe for the Soar. And originally I ordered a downpipe, but turns out they have two separate downpipes that turn into one. There's the one that's closer to the turbos that mounts to the turbos, and then this one bolts from their back. And I believe that this one deletes the cat on the car. So we may have an opportunity to make the car a little bit louder today, which is uh, what I have been wanting to do for a while now. So I hit up my friend Chance. Chance is the owner of Tailored Motorsports, the guy that did my bag install on the Soar, and he killed it. So he has a lift in his shop, and he so graciously offered to help with the install today so I don't have to do it on the ground anymore because I absolutely hate doing that. It absolutely sucks. I hate working on exhaust in the driveway on the ground. It's terrible. He's got a four point lift, so huge shout to Chance. I'll leave his Instagram right here. Go drop him a follow. But let's go meet up with Chance and uh, see if we can make the soar a little bit louder today. Yo, peep this fresh black interior though. Oh, so much better. Today's like the first really nice sunny day in a long time and uh, I left the windows down for pretty much the whole day to just kind of like, I don't know, clear the smell, clear the smell out of the car a little bit. It honestly isn't that bad at all, like the paint smell. Um, I was worried it was gonna be a lot, lot worse, but it's really just like, get another air freshener and it smells better. Arigato. Hi, how are you? Huh? Are you wearing a turtleneck? Yeah, it was cold at home. And I'm yeah. sick. I'm yeah. sick. Yeah, I'm sick, okay? It's probably from huffing those paint fumes with no respirator. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, keep coming. Just keep coming the exact way you are right now, because... Crispy, but like you gotta watch out for the wall. You getting used to right-hand drive? No, ever. How do you feel about the interior <sighs> now that you've seen it when it was shitty tan, and now you see it as no, it look, it does look good. less shitty black? <laughs> it's two different colors. Like car. Yeah, the tan's gonna come out, but it's the way it is for now. So we got the soar on the lift and uh, we did a quick inspection under the car. Everything looks good. I'll show you guys what we're doing and what we're replacing. So um, I'll show you guys the aftermarket pipe or the HKS pipe. That is what this is. And this is pretty much the mid pipe. And I'll show you which one it replaces. It replaces this section that you see right here. And uh, to take it off, it's pretty straightforward, but um, we did notice something that's kind of funky. This car has the O2 sensor. Um, the O2 sensor is up in here. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's up on the downpipe with the turbos. But over here, it also has a sensor going into the part of the exhaust that we're taking off. So. I'm not 100% sure what that sensor is for. Um, the HKS mid pipe doesn't have a, uh, a bung on it. So I'm going to hope that it's something that is not necessary um, because the HKS pipe didn't come with it. You would think that HKS would think to put that on if it was necessary. So chances are already going to work. I mean, this is a pretty fairly easy install, and uh, hopefully we can get some 
some nice noises out of this car. So just before we continue doing this, we're gonna actually call Throttle, which is actually the place that I got this HKS pipe through. Evan and the guys over on the West Coast with TJ Hunt and everyone. Uh, as you guys know, I am a VIP um, with their company and I have their banner on the coop and they're dope dudes. And Evan actually hit me up and wanted to know what any parts uh, that they would carry would fit on the Soarer. And turns out this was in their inventory. So I picked this up through them. So we're just gonna call them really quick and make sure that it is, you know, good to go 100% that, you know, I don't need that bung that's on here and uh, make sure everything's good. If you guys want to check out Throttle or the VIP, become a member VIP, um, link will be in the description. They're awesome dudes. Becoming a VIP can save you guys money, earn you guys cool stuff, prizes. They do contests all the time. It's super fun. So awesome set of dudes. We're gonna call them and we'll be right back. All right, so got off the phone, should be good. The second thing is the EGT probe, which is like exhaust gas temp. Um, everyone just takes that out and tucks it up. So we're gonna do that too. And uh, pretty much it's just bolts in the front, bolts in the back, take it off, put the pipe in, gaskets, and we'll be all set. And then we can see if it makes the car any louder. We will be deleting a cat out of this car. So hopefully it gets a little bit louder. I'd like to hear a little bit more turbo noise. I do plan on getting the rear mufflers uh, deleted and doing all of that, but that will be further down the line. But right now, I've had this pipe hanging around, so I want to put it in. I had a funny feeling because I was going to use a uh, half inch. Yeah. And I figured I'd get some criticism on criticism on the YouTube channel <laughs> about using a half inch impact. My brother's friend Andre has his Volkswagen here. He just got a, uh, a dump tube and a, an electronic dump tube put in, and it actually sounds really cool. We'll show you that later. But. She coming off. I uh, probably have to put a wrench on it. You got nothing on the other side. <laughs> Tim, wanna hold these just up here? Hold on. Yep, there we go. Yeet. Let's take a peek at this real quick. I want to see. Uh, I want to see if I can see in there. Focus. All right. Yeah. So there is a bunch of restriction in there. Hopefully that. Hopefully that uh, being deleted helps a lot. Can inspect everything up in here. Hey, all this stuff. Gaskets you got from Jags. All this stuff looks mint. Wait, that doesn't even make sense. All this back here looks mint. The axles are good. Everything looks good. Uh, Stoked. So we noticed something with the uh, the OEM factory exhaust. It uses ring gaskets instead of the gaskets that came with the HKS mid pipe. And pretty much what the ring gaskets are is you can see the little groove that goes around the flange right in here. The ring gasket sits in there and it compresses onto it when you tighten it. And uh, it's the same way with the uh, both sides on here. So instead of reusing the ring gaskets because we really can't with the HKS pipe, it doesn't have a groove for them. We're just gonna take the rings off of the OEM piping and we're just gonna use the gaskets that came uh, with the HKS pipe, which should work. I don't see why not. And that, uh, we'll just bolt right up just like that. So, me just sitting here, um, I realized that I forgot to do a before exhaust sound. So, I'm just going to overlay an older clip from when we first got this car and first did the couple mods to it uh, to kind of get a before and after. I don't think he looks like Borat. I look like eBay Bruce Wayne. Like what Sean said more earlier. Like, more like uh, Jared Leto. <laughs> <laughs>
got a little more to it. Still very quiet though. So unfortunately it's kind of like a, uh, kind of like a fail, it's not really too loud, but the car's still, you know, full of restrictions, full of mufflers and cats and stuff. The, the downpipe has still got the its cat in there and I still got the two mufflers in the back and all that stuff. So I'm going to rev it up a little bit, high, a little bit uh, higher this time and see if we can really kind of notice a difference. Um, I think there should be a difference, but we'll see. I can't really notice too much from the back. I can notice the turbos are louder from the front, but that's really about it. So it's kind of a win, kind of a fail. We deleted one of the cats in the middle and uh, replaced it with the HKS pipe. It's better overall, so it's a it's a win lose lose win whatever. But um, yeah. Look at this black interior though. So much nicer. Black interior, so much nicer. Thank you, Chance, again for yeah, doing this. Welcome. I appreciate it. Even though it didn't really make much of a difference, it's nice to have some nice HKS stuff in there regardless. So. Well, once you get rid of the mufflers and the resonators, you'll notice a bigger difference. Yeah. No, you know? and I, I plan to very, very, very soon. It's just uh, I had the pipe laying around. I just wanted to do it. Yeah. So. And thank you very much to Chance for letting me, you know, use as a lift. I absolutely hate using jack stands in my driveway doing stuff like this it's a nightmare so before we end the video i just wanted to show andre's car with the new uh with the new electronic cutout in it it's pretty dope so he's got the little switch right here Oh yeah, he will. Andre, if you're watching this, I know you're in college right now, but say hi to Tommy and when you get back, your car sounds dope, so. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this kind of short, anticlimactic video of putting an HKS mid-pipe in the car. Like I said, it's got so many cats and mufflers on it, it's still making like no sound at all. More turbo sound, but uh, the, the car needs a lot less restrictions, so. I'm a little bummed, but what can you do? You gotta make a video regardless. So, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully we can get the uh, mufflers removed soon and do something really cool with that. So, I have someone in mind to do that with and uh, should be doing it very soon. So, hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.